Yay! Back from another tournament report. Just kind of got back from that. Um, not the best one, unfortunately. Went uh, 2 and 3. Although I was playing something a little bit different. I just felt like being trollsy today, and I feel I like might have done, probably probably could have done something some a bit a bit better, but it is it is what it is. So uh, I figured today that I would play Zeal Weapon deck because I can basically. Um, it's actually uh, it's actually basically if you've seen the um, if you've seen the if you've seen our Volcasaurus dot deck that 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 sort of um whole idea by having a bunch of level five spam and stuff like that. I basically did took a template of that and then just filled it with Zeal what Zeal weapons and Utopia beats and whatnot and came up with the Volca Zeal deck as it's called. So um I'll just go through the list and then I shall go through the uh, pairings and whatnot and, and how I went through my things. So start things off uh, with the forms of the zero weapons. We have double Tornado Bringer. Now Tornado Bringer, uh, he gives 1300 more attack points to Utopia when it's equipped. It can be used on any Utopia. Um, the Utopia, the equipped monster cannot also, they cannot be targeted by card effects, which is really good. Uh, is just the, the opponent cannot target that monster with card effects, so you can still use your own sort of targeting stuff on it, like if you're gonna get, if you're gonna get like, I don't know, the only thing I can think of is Lance, but why would you even use Lance on something that's at least, it's at least 3800, at least with this attached, which is pretty damn awesome. And then, uh, Double Lightning Blade, this thing's actually really good, it protects all of your uh, Zeal weapons, it's an additional 1200, so this plus, so basically, this plus this, equals a 5,000 Utopia. This protects all the, this protects itself and all the other Zeal weapons from being destroyed by card effects, so stuff like Wing Beat, like I saw in round one, um, did nothing against these. It, it, it did nothing. Um, also, these can get rid of themselves to save Utopia, uh, dependent purely on how it's being destroyed. If it's destroyed by card effect, this goes to the graveyard. If it's destroyed by, if it would be destroyed by battle, then this goes to the grave, so. It has a lot, so they do have a lot of protective abilities. Um, they're pretty much dead if you don't have um, Utopia, though, which is why I avoided uh, running three of each. Th a third one of each would have been handy in some cases, but it, it, I'm just, nah. Um, then we have just the one Asura Strike, because I could only really fit one in. This one gives Utopia a thousand attack, plus it can attack all of the other, all of the opponent's monsters once each, a la Butchadus' Anuo. It's very, very nice. So combined, all, one of each of these is 6,000. And you can only control one of each Zeal weapon with the exception of Leo Arms. Then, Double Solo in general. This thing's really, really good just for the rank 5 plays in general. Because you can just special it without having to worry about you know, the opponent having anything on the board. So you can just put that on there and then do whatever you have to do. Like Star Eater. I mean, it's not Star Eater. Star Drawing, one-up shark. Instant Fusion plays, that sort of jazz. Photon Slasher, this is good if you're going to go for the rank 5 play after going for Utopia. If you have a play that you can go for Utopia, you can also then drop this and potentially go for rank 5 Exceed play along with the Utopia, which most of the time will probably be Leo Arms. Um, although Volcasaurus is a thing in this, so you can always just go for that. Then for Wind Up Engine, I've got the Triple Shark and the Magician. I uh, didn't get this off quite as much as often as I would have liked. Uh, one situation I had to scoot because I had set my uh, wind up magician to protect myself, and then the very next turn I topped into um, shark, and it was dead. I I had, lo I had lost that uh, game, so which is unfortunate. Uh, star drawing. This thing's really awesome. Uh, it can be used as four or five, and if the monster. And if this is used for Xyz material, you draw a card upon the successful summon of the Xyz monster. The summon ha does have to be successful, though. If it gets warning, then you don't get the draw. So, that's a bit which kind of sucks, but, eh. So, we've got Double Summon a Monk, because it kind of works with the wind-up sort of stuff. I open with this and two, um, uh, two sharks in testing the other week, and I went nutty. I had double zeal weapon, double leo arms, and a utopia with 5k. It could have been 6k if I was running a Sura Blade at the time, but mm, a Sura Strike even. Uh, then we've got 
double Kage to Kage, just quickly, just for the quick exceed plays that it offers. 1BLS, I didn't think I'd actually get much use out of this, although I did actually win round 1 with BLS, because I basically had Utopia, and I got, and that got smacked, and then I had to come up with a backup plan, and, and thankfully Utopia's death put a dark in the grave with a whole bunch of lights, so I had that ready to go. Honest, because, yeah, honest. This actually won me a game against Fire Fist round 2, I think it was. I basically just went, yeah, substitute 4, boom. Then, one Effect Valor and one Max C. Uh, I'm probably thinking of uh, booting one of these up to two and maybe just booting the other one out full stop. Because against, um, against my round one, Max C and Valor would have been really nice to have early game. They weirdly would have, so it kind of sucks to, for that to happen. Gauze, it, 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 it was there and then it was really quickly not. Double Trag, it, it, it proved useful. Spells, Triple Instant Fusion, I got pretty much, I got this off a fair few times. If you don't want to go for the Instant Fusion, you can always just pitch it for um, Summoner Monk, because that's probably, because that's the most likely thing to happen with the Instant Fusions, you either play it or pitch it. Uh, triple Upstart, to turn the deck into 37 cards. You'd think that would help with consistency, but for some reason it didn't. That's why I went 2 and 3. Uh, two Lancers were just sort of there. They were somewhat helpful. Most of the time they would get MST'd. Speaking of MST, I didn't really see these a lot today. Double MST. I didn't really see them a lot. It kind of sucked. Book of Moon, I never saw it all. I sighted it out pretty much every opportunity I had. Dark Hole, same thing. I never really saw it. And I think I may have played it. Like, I think I had it once, but would have been useless against um, round five. Then Double Trap Stun, which did, it, it did have its moments, but a fair few of the time it lost that moment, it lost its moment because of MST, the rogue MST sort of stuff. Then for the extra deck, got to run the triple utopia for your targets, for your zero weapon targets, plus a utopia raid just for that sort of thing, like if you, like if your utopia gets, I don't know, fiendished or something like that before you get the zero weapons, you just go, bam, You'd just be like, sweet. Then we have my stroke, and Cowboy for my to round out the fours, and then for the fives, double Leo Arms for uh, equipping extra 3,000 beats, plus a search, it's always good. Uh, double Volcasaurus, because part of the name, because it's it commits its name to part of the name of the deck. Uh, Zenmaya, I did get this off once, it was pretty good. Uh, Gaia Dragon, once again, I, did, I got this off and got some pretty serious piercing damage, and then for the instant fusion targets I run, uh, Carbonella Warrior and Double Ojama Knight. I would much rather run either Camion Wizard or um, Mavalus. Mavalus came out in uh, Astral Pack 4, which was which like came out like the other day or something like that. Um, I want to go for those because they have um, less than 15, so they can't get bottomless. But I suppose with only one bottomless, you'd rather bottomless the thing that you're going to stack into rather than one of the materials. So it's 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 a bit of a thing. Uh, anyway, so side deck, Chimera Tank, I got this off against our uh, Fyfist matchup, and you will see um, why s shortly. Double Cyber Dragon, because you can't run Chimera Tech without the Cybers. Double DD Crow, started it in once, never saw it. Uh, second Veil, the second Max C, like I said, I'm probably going to end up having two of one. I'm probably just going to end up running one of these hand traps at double and then just siding the other. So, Chalice, never saw it. Uh, third of ST, never sighted it in. Probably could have if had I had the foresight to see that my MSTs were just not being seen at all. Double system down. I didn't side this in because I didn't have any uh, machine matchups or anything like that. Uh, double breakthrough skill. Once again, didn't see it. Uh, and then double DNA surgery. This is easily MVP for today. Um, against round three, this thing... Uh, this thing kicked ass round three. Uh, I think it was game two. It was either game two or three. Because I know I lost game one of round three, but yeah, I had this thing save my skin in round three. So, And of course, I had five fists round two, and then, you know, those are a thing. 
sucked up a rooster and a um, horse prince. So I did pretty well. Uh, speaking of which, round one. So um, I played against Hieratic Rulers. Um, and this one was actually, like, I got I got early establishment of Zero Weapons set up. I uh, got the 5000 Utopia, pretty much running him over. And then he eventually uh, managed to get round and uh, dissect my field. He went Black Rose so that I had to drop the Lightning Blade. And then managed to get um, my Utopia off the board. Which then allowed me to drop BLS because the only dark I had to see it all was <laughs> that I could get into the grave at least was attached to Utopia. So I did that. And then right at the end of the game, the right at the end of the game. For the record, we could only fit one game in. That's how long this first game was. So I just got the one game win, and that won me the match. Uh, he basically went scrap dragon. Could have taken the game from there, and I just went Vela. So there was not much else there, and I got I got exact zero bonus because of the beat sticks. Uh, round two played three axes, five fist. Um, I got smacked in the chops game one. Game two, I established fairly early ascendancy with trap stun and then just wiping the back row with uh uh zen mayo he then got his horse prince and rooster and then i sucked him up into chimera tech and then from there i basically went i went utopia over his tiger king he went tenson i went some step four honest drop and took the game from there and then game three i got otk there's no there's no more words i can say about that he just otk me and i had nothing round three i played against uh Dark magic, dark magic Lockdown. Yes, Richie. Dark Magic Lockdown is a, was a thing today. Um, so, um, basically, he... I, I, I basically... Game one, I just kind of got choked out. I, I just got smacked. He went... He went, basically... Um, Treb, Dark Magician Girl, Sage of Stone, Dark Magician, just smashed me, <laughs> pretty much. Game two, he had me in a lockdown... He had uh, Chow and the Prophet. He sealed off the only back row I had. Which, actually, no, he didn't because he called wrong. Um, but it was sealed off anyway because he had s that new secret village or whatever of the thing. And then the other secret village of the spellcast is the field one plus double Magician's Arcurus. So it's basically, I can't attack, I can't play spell cards. Uh, pro top deck DNA surgery flipped that and it turned the game to the polar opposite. He was wide open to my attacks because I called Machine. Um, and he couldn't play any spells, so I basically just went on my plays and just smashed him. Like, if I got the Cyber Dragon out any earlier in that game, I would have sucked up for I, um, for another Chimera Tech Fortress and then just beat him down there. And then game three, I basically just went Trap Stun, overpowered him with big beat sticks and took that out. Round four, I played against four Axis Fire Fist. Uh, game one, I was on the back foot early and then pretty much just sort of couldn't recover. Like, I... He basically had answers to every single play I had in amongst both of the games, and that was pretty much it. Same thing pretty much for round five, one of against our Noble Knights. I did disrupt him a little bit with DNA surgery, like getting rid of Noble Arms of Destiny and whatnot, but he got rid of it just as quickly, and then I basically just sort of had to fold from there. So two and three. I got 26th. Uh, I, I would care, but I don't really have any real need to because... I went over there for the sole purpose of trolling and didn't really care where I finished, so why not? Just had to have one of those free times, I guess. So, uh, next, so now that I've done those two in the one video, the next video is going to be my second Legacy of the Valiant box, because I just decided to buy one, and because the first one was kind of crappy, so yeah, see you for that one.